chapter 6 is all about circular motion. There is an equation given in your book about circular mo motion. It looks like this. The net force is equal to m a sub c, which is equal to m sub v of v squared divided by r. Please tell me what is missing from this equation. Anna, give me something that's missing from this equation, please. Um, yeah, you need a third equation, right? The whole thing. Oh. Something's missing. There are two things missing. They're both subscripts. Um, direction. Direction, true. Has to do with the direction. Uh, Bob? So the sum of the force is in and less than tangential square? It is circular motion, which means this is the net force in the in direction, and this is tangential <laughs> velocity squared. To be read, the net force in the in direction is equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration, which is equal to mass times the tangential velocity squared divided by the radius, where force and centripetal acceleration are both vectors. This has to do with something moving in a circle. The centripetal class means center seeking. The net force in the in direction is called class? Well, I'm glad I asked then. Who can tell me what the net force in the in direction is called? This one, I know, I know. Heather? the centripetal force. Mass times centripetal acceleration is going to be equal to the centripetal force. This, by definition, is the centripetal force, the net force in the in direction, the centripetal force. This means anytime you have something moving in a circle and you want to deal with forces, etc., you need to draw a free, of free body diagram and sum the forces in the in direction. There are three things I ask you to remember about the centripetal force. draw. There are three things I ask you to remember about the centripetal force. Please name one of them. Isha, bless you, Jessica. The in direction is positive. Okay. In is positive, therefore out is negative. In is positive, out is negative. Two more. Give me one, please, Miss Song. Things I have to remember about centripetal force. Ah, that's where we're harkening back into the memory from last year. Can give me one of the other two, please? Cool thing? Um, velocity is always perpendicular. Ah, the tangential velocity is perpendicular. That's not one of the three things I have to remember because it's the tangential velocity by definition. Rico? That's not centripetal force in the free body diagram. The centripetal force is never in a free body diagram. That's number two. We're going in the reverse order. <laughs> never in a free body diagram. And it's because of the first one that it is never in a free body diagram. Josh? It is not a, it is not a new force. The centripetal force is the net force in the in direction. It's not some new force. It could be the tension force. It could be the force normal. It could be the force of gravity. It could be a combination thereof. It could be the force of friction. Okay? It is simply whatever force we get when we sum the forces in the in direction. That's what it means by it's not a new force. Because of that, it's never in a free body diagram. And just by definition, in is positive and out is negative. 